What's going on guys? My name is Joe and welcome back for episode 113 of the Town Hall 11 free to play series. Let me emphasize again, free to play series. We're not buying any gems. We don't buy gold passes. We don't buy any of the special layouts. No special offers whatsoever. We've been grinding this account for 17 months, guys. 17 months. Now you'll notice that we did put down the Town Hall a few hours ago and we have 13 days and 20 hours left on this Town Hall. Now a lot of you guys guys would say go ahead and use a book of building well unfortunately I don't have a book of building and then you would say well the clan war leaks just finished a moment ago you could totally buy a hammer of building from the league shop and you're absolutely correct but then we also have to think about what's next after upgrading that town hall we have a laboratory that we want to upgrade because of the new town hall boost that way we can use those higher level troops right away and then we also need to to make sure that we unlock something like the miners that we could use right away to start farming with as a brand new Town Hall 12. So I'm gonna have to pass up on this option and we're just gonna have to wait it out, which leads us into our topic of reality when it comes to Clash of Clans. Free to play is not fast. Now, for those of you that watch a lot of YouTube, you probably understand that concept. You know that being a free to play player means that you're not gonna be going fast or upgrading and maxing out your villages really fast. I mean, we've kind of proven that already. We started out as a brand new Town Hall 7, and we got every single series lined up to show you that playing free to play does not go fast. I mean, again, I will re-emphasize 17 months. There's a major trade-off here between money, time, and work. So if you do not spend any money on the game, which is perfectly fine, I completely understand. Not everybody wants to spend money on a video game. I mean, sometimes I don't even want to do it on my main account, but you know, it's one of those things that we just have to trade off. Do I want to put a lot of work into that account and wait those really long upgrade times, or do I want to keep that account maxed out? And so that's where this series comes into play, and you need to understand the opposite side of the fence when you buy that gold pass. So let's use this town hall as an example to show the trade-off here. We got 13 days and 20 hours remaining on this Town Hall upgrade. Now, when we get into the Season Pass and we take a look at the Gold Pass, let's say that we wanted to buy that Gold Pass. We need to understand that one of the biggest things that you get from this option is the perks. And when we jump into the perks, you'll notice that one of the biggest ones here, the number one listed one, is the Builder Boost. So what does that Builder Boost give us? Well, for those of you that just don't know, we get in here and take a look at this first option. We got 15% less on resources and time to build and upgrade. So that means that we don't have to farm as much or we don't have to use our clan war treasury as much to upgrade an option. And then when we do put that building down, it will be for a reduced time. So if we had a gold pass, our town hall would not have cost us 9.5 million gold to upgrade and it certainly would not be 14 days. This is how you truly speed up the game or the progress of your villages by buying the gold pass and this is how a lot of our viewers have gotten past me and gone to town hall 12 already we get a lot of comments or posts on twitter where players are saying oh i started before you and i've passed you joe what are you doing i've remained free to play and there's really just no way to speed this up other than doing the work you know that the same thing applies to fixing a rush base, right? Because we're looking at a rushed village right here. This is a Town Hall 11. This guy's got a level two Eagle artillery. He's got maxed out Inferno towers, but look at all the point defenses around the village. They're all very low level. Actually, most of them are level one. So we're gonna take on this village and steal this guy's resources because it's very, very easy. But what you need to understand that there's really no trick to fixing a rushed village. All you have to do is just keep playing the the game a lot or buying things with the gold pass or those special offers getting more magic items this will increase how fast you're able to fix your rush village and a lot of players don't realize that fixing a rush base takes about two years or more free to play i mean the timeline does not change just because you rushed it just means that you got a lot more work to do all right so we're going to go ahead and take on this village and take all the resources off of it let's go ahead and drop some baby dragons around this village 
and we're going to bring the queen into this base but we also need to worry about that eagle artillery we're going to use this one baby dragon army and then we're going to switch into the army that i showed you yesterday or the day before with the super barbarians because it is a really cool army so we got an eagle artillery that's been activated we got i think there's yetis inside of the log launcher i can't exactly remember what's in there let's go ahead and freeze that single target to give that queen a little bit more time to help her out and let's use that king's ability here we go queen's working on that single target looking very nice she's going to take it on take it down the grand warden has not been placed yet and i think there is a valkyrie and yeti inside of that log launcher looks like the queen's going to get in on that eagle and all i really need her to do here is get rid of these air defenses and then we can drop baby dragons around the village and finish it up because i mean look this is just easy right here you know what i mean Super duper easy. Let's go ahead and use that queen's ability and take off some of the pressure on her. Get rid of that air defense right there and steal a massive amount of resources, mainly because this player decided that he wanted to rush to Town Hall 11. He's going to probably continue to rush to Town Hall 12. And what he doesn't realize is that things get a lot harder. I'm going to go ahead and dump this army. That way I can reset. Let's go ahead and drop that rage spell. Actually, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I spent too much time talking about it, but look at all those resources. So one of my biggest goals for this series right here and the development of this YouTube channel was realistically designed to help you guys out and try to keep you motivated in playing the game. I mean, I've been playing the game for like seven and a half years. I've had my fun over the years when it comes to maxing out villages. I mean, I've got nine different accounts, but I only play like three of them because that's realistically all I have time for. And so one of the biggest things that I get from the comments is a lot of players out there claim that they do not use their training post or their training boost this potion right here some players will go down in the comments below and say that they actually sell these for like 10 gems and at the end of the day when you are staying a free to play player the biggest goal is to try to keep your builders active at all times that way you keep upgrading your villages and when you sell these items and don't actually properly use them you're really just kind of wasting your time at the end of the day a lot of players like to think that I sit here for like six to eight hours a day playing the game and that is simply not the case a lot of times I will activate one of those training boosts for one hour which basically speeds up the recovery time of your heroes it speeds up your barracks and it also speeds up your spell factory and so they, this grants me the ability to go back out and attack more often a lot faster and steal the resources necessary to put my builders back down as quickly as possible because remember the longer that thing is idle, the longer you're at this town hall level or the longer you're unable to max out your village. And so my next target here would be this mortar upgrade. It's 9 million gold. That is a lot of gold, dudes. So we would have to get the gold pass in order to reduce that price or we just have to simply go back out and keep attacking and trying to find really nice resources. This is why I tend to hang out in Masters League because normally Masters League will produce some pretty decent loot. I mean, I'm looking for a little bit more more than 400k i'm going to click through a couple of these and see if i can find a really decent base i mean at the end of the day when it comes to this youtube series i could just make strategies for you you know what i mean like those attack strategies those are great but they're really not making you a better player overall it's just showing you how to become a better attacker but there's more to clash of clans than just becoming a better attacker all right so we're going to go ahead and take on this village we have a lot of resources as you can see and we're going to start out over here with our queen walk since we are using our super barbarian army that we picked up the other day from my friend uh, bone crusher it's an amazing army it's a lot of fun we used it in the live stream the other night it was a really good time all right so that queen's gonna work and then she should go towards actually she's gonna go towards the left so let's go ahead and drop a super wall breaker there and that's gonna overall change my plan let's go ahead and release a a, a rate rage spell there let's go ahead and release another super wall breaker to send her into that eagle and that archer queen and let's Let's go ahead and release our barb king here our log launcher and let's release a pekka and a few wizards or one wizard over there all right so the queen's working she's taking down the enemy queen we're working very nice let's go ahead and release a couple of super wall breakers and let's go ahead and release our grand warden with that group looking very nice and we need to use that king's ability now we're going to end up having to use a rage spell because we just lost our log launcher queen is going around the outer perimeter of this village we do have a jump 
don't spell that we can place right here and let's go ahead and release a couple more super barbarians to get to the center of this village all right so they're going to go through a rage let's drop a heal spell for them and let's use our grand warden's ability to protect everything let's release a rage spell right here queen is looking okay she's taking a lot of damage over there so we might need to use her ability super barbs are going to take down the town hall let's use that queen's ability and help her out and let's release a heal spell for our super barbarians right there all right so what do we got left on this village we got uh two baby dragons and a poison spell so we should be able to clear out the rest of this base we just need that air defense to go down right there and we should be successful let's release a baby dragon there and there and i don't think we're going to need this poison spell we should be good to go let's go ahead and release that there do a little bit of disrespect on that clan castle and thank you so much uh, harry this is harry that's going to give us a massive amount of resources but he clearly hasn't logged in in a while and this is just one of the things when it comes to clash of clans this is how you have so many resources available because players don't consistently play and look at all that all right so we're going to finish up this video on one more attack and i'm going to keep this going after i conclude this video we're going to start out down here on the bottom side of the village with our queen walk now one of the major things behind the thought process of this video was ideally to kind of tell you how it really is because i read the comments and i see some of the things that players say and i'm just like my goodness you guys are not really like you really don't think that uh <laughs> that we can do this free to play and uh be very very fast it's just impossible it's impossible you got to understand what those goal passes are uh that's why i don't really like that term pay to play like i've never liked that term because it's not very accurate at all a lot of players will sit back and say oh he bought the gold pass he's paying to play and it's like come on man like realistically he's kind of smart because he's speeding up the progress of his village all right so we're going to drop a raise spell here for our super barbs release a little bit more of them to go to the center of this village and we're going to use our grand warden's ability and uh use it right there to protect them versus oh my queen i got <laughs> about to lose my queen level 31 king's putting a hurting on that queen oh boy all right let's get a heal spell down for our troops to take down that multi-target drop a jump spell here on the back side of the village and we we should be pretty successful with the elimination of this village so we got a king that's up there working we got one super wall breaker remaining and that queen is playing wall breaker way to go queen that's about accurate for her she's <laughs> she's notorious for that man she is notorious for playing the wall breaker all right so we just need a little bit more oomph out of our troops let's drop a heal spell on those super barbs to go up after that wizard tower queen will catch up eventually she's going to probably take on a few more walls at some point and i am out of troops we got one super wall breaker right there that we could drop yep but we're going to pull a massive amount of resources off of this village as well you'll see just in this video alone i've already gotten back up to four million so if i keep this going for the full hour we should be able to put down that mortar and i'll be able to keep that builder going and be completed with it but it's just one of those things that a lot of players out there aren't willing to do man they completely bypassed that expo and that uh clan castle way to go guys way to go <laughs> it's just one of those things with this army they're super special man the troops are just super duper special let's go ahead and uh you know i should have held on to that super wall breaker to crack back into the village but that's just not going to be the case we might need to use this queen's ability to speed this process up a little bit maybe no we should be good let's do it let's do it queen's ability is going to finish up and wrap up the video on that note one more shot a few more shots come on was there any damage oh yeah there was a little bit of damage there <laughs> so the moral of today's story guys is that we will continue this free to play series to go into town hall 12 but you got to understand that town hall 12 is going to take us a really long time to complete i mean it took us six and a half months so what are we at 192 days so we just crossed six months a few days ago and we are almost maxed out as a town hall 11 so we're going to keep going but things are going to slow down dramatically as a town hall 12 and this is why we started the town hall 9 series recently because i got to have something to kind of do a trade-off there when it comes to playing the game and waiting on really long builder times so hopefully you're able to get something out of today's video and if you enjoyed the content make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you have not done so already and if you like watching us quite regularly turn on those notifications if you need any additional video support or you want to see this account right here from the very beginning click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one guys take care